In this video, we're going to be talking about the new Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch, as well as a patch watch for the upcoming master modes, which you'll want to hear about, as well as some new skins that CIG has been adding, as well as a new Idris mission you may want to hear about. Let's talk. In regards to the latest Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch, we've gotten a new update. This time around, it's about 12 gigs. You know, they're saying that this is um, a normal release, um, but uh, the fact that it's 12 gigs, I'm speculating they've um, hidden something within this patch as usual. The last time we had something like this, we did see the new jump gate, so we're going to have to see. So with this one, test and focus remains the same. It's available to all backers. And uh, they made a few changes here under feature update. Under ships and vehicles, it says shield components have been removed from most bikes. Along with this, the Suntok Ye landing gear has had a polished pass. Before we move forward, I'd like y'all to know that the goal for this channel is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And can I do it without you guys? So if you watch content regularly on this channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Moving on, under bug fixes, it says they fixed an issue causing severe performance issues while using multiple tracked beams on an object. They also fixed an issue where mining lasers intensity reset repeatedly. They also fixed an issue that's causing players to receive a 30,009 error while trying to enter a new commander master mode, squadron battles. Along with this, they have three client crashes as well as two server crashes. Up next is regarding the patch watch for 3.22. So this one is regarding the master modes. It says here in Alpha 3.20 and 3.21, you've gotten the first glimpse of master modes with the experimental arena commander game modes. Our main learning from the data feedback were following the initial changes, combat is closer and feels more engaging. Um, removing the rules that weapon size must be reduced by one if the weapon is to be attached to a gimbal and minus one has no negative impact on balancing. It also says here there is no clear advantage in input method over each other and it says strike order limit is in general works but is too restrictive outside of mouse and keyboard input devices. In 1v1 players sometimes feel locked in with no other option than DPS racing and based on the data we received from your play sessions we have adjusted the play test for 3.22 we have we have updated a few ifcs features flight model tuning and weapon properties it says here furthermore with alpha 3.22 we will not only focus on dog fighting and light fighters with the gladius as the test bed in the public test but also collecting and analyzing more data from your battles with different ship types the Vanguard Heavy Fighter, the Super Hornet Medium Fighter, and the Buccaneer, the Interceptor, have therefore also undergone balance adjustment and will be focused of the testing. All right, so um, here are the few changes that they mentioned here for the IFCS. It says to improve 1v1 mechanics, we added a few things to IFCS to support more diverse flight behavior and less prone to cheating and macroing it says the very first one it says ifcs movement simulation it says when a ship is controlled with digital input like keyboard the actual movement is not simulated this means a simulated stick or throttle cannot be moved from zero to one in one frame this smooths out general movement and helps with pip wiggling so this is definitely going to help with combat engagement especially when you're running against a keyboard and mouse player so in regards to the next one it says here ifcs boost ramping it says boost can now be ramping up and down for example it is not immediately active at full strength which smooths out general movement and reduces pip wiggling and ramp up and down time can be balanced independently for each ship um, next it says ifcs boost direction modifier and it says boost modifiers cannot be applied per boost direction not per axis this means we have a lot more control over individual performance parameters for example we can disallow boosting backwards that's good um, next one it says ifcs boosting rotation rates while boosting is held ships are now able to momentarily reach higher rotation rates the boost ramping helps smooth that process 
that's nice and next it says tri coordinate limiters the old tri coordinate limiter was too harsh when your ship was not perfectly accelerated along an axis which easily happens with stick input this new limiter only cuts acceleration back when you hit the side limits specifically for racers that should feel better in the previous master mode test run it says flight tuning here it says master mode testing in alpha 320 and 3.21 was mostly symmetric combat now we're tuning to ship differences for this for this round we want to figure out if our so-called archetype ship feel right in relation with each other to do that we're equipping you with ships that we want to be good in their respective roles as opposed to the pu ships the the Massimo ships happen to, to have less relative flight performance difference between each other. Just to be clear, there are pretty big differences, but they're not as drastic as they are in PU. The Massimo ships have been retooled and should feel nice in terms of general handling, but with clear pros and cons. Instead of listing them all here, we suggest you try them out. Here's a list. It says the Gladius Light Fighter. It says it's agile but can't take a lot of beating. The F7CM medium fighter is sturdy and impressive agility for the weapon load and it says the buccaneer the medium receptor it can't turn well but speeds forward like no other and the vanguard heavy fighter not the fastest or most agile ship but it has higher damage output than all others and under the weapon changes here it says ranges of all weapons have vastly increased and spread was added to all of them you can now hit targets from multiple kilometers away to allow breaking up of fire patterns gatling guns will heat up so that they cannot fire forever and in arena commander they made a few changes here it says there are four different dedicated master mode experimental modes in arena commander now they exist in addition to the normal arena commander and it says master mode squad of battle master, master mode classic race master mode endless vandal storm and master modes free flight all right up next is some new skins that um, cig is adding to the build the very first one is the red festival for the 600i 400i and 100i also they have three new skins for the drake cutter they have orange beige and orange and metal three and then new fortuna skins for the fury razor and starlifter also new love struck skins for the mo argo mpuv and the argo wrapped they added three new skins for the santa Kie and six new skins for the x1 in addition to this, they also have new skins for the STV, Cyclone, and Nox. In addition to this as well, they're adding a new variant for the Drake Cutter and it's called the Rumbler. Its focus is meant to be Expedition. It says the Brass of Drake heard what you had to say and their answer was the Cutter Rumbler. Building upon the original, the Rumbler reserves a full 2 SEU of cargo room while adding in requested creature comfort and enough personal storage to make even the longest journey go by in a flash all right so now the most uh, interesting piece in this news today is regarding the idris so it looks like um there was some leaks pertaining to the idris having its interior fully done and um here's what we're actually seeing um in uh, what we could be seeing in a, in a future build or maybe in 3.22 when it goes live it says here to test the preparedness of your response team we would like volunteers to simulate an assault against the cdf idris by neutralizing and taking control of the vessel to be clear the goal of this exercise is not to destroy the idris but for you to attempt to board and craft and maintain control of it as long as possible volunteers should expect to meet full resistance with the idris highly trained crew and are encouraged to get an updated imprint beforehand coordinates will be provided upon confirming your participation thanks and good luck so this is going to be a new idris mission that's going to be a boarding party mission this is one going to be one of the most exciting missions to do with your crew and um, i cannot wait to actually get our hands on this all right, before I let you guys go, my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.